Welcome back to a new machine learning tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can do hyperparameter tuning using grid search from Python scikit-learn. We are going to talk about the logic behind the hyperparameter tuning and we are going to talk about the grid search technique and we are going to code it in Python. Let's start coding. So I'm in VS Code interface right now. I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code as my code editor in this video, but you can use any code editor like Google Colab, PyCharm, it's completely up to you. And I'm going to close the welcome page. I'm going to create a file like grid search. Then I will say I pen B for creating a Jupyter notebook. I think in this kind of tutorials, it's best to use Jupyter notebooks since we can go cell by cell. And I will say like grid search. And I'm going to make this run. And let's say like, okay, let's start by defining the grid search. Grid search is an exhaustive search technique used in machine learning to find the best combination of hyperparameters for a given model. So most of the machine learning algorithms have different parameters like regularization parameter C on the tree-based model side and we can find the best performing parameters on that side. It works by evaluating the model's performance across a grid of possible hyperparameter values and selecting the combination that result in the highest performance typically measured by metrics like in regression side, mean absolute error, or in a classification side, accuracy, like accuracy. I'm pretty sure you heard of these techniques if you are into machine learning. And we are going to start by creating a data set for this tutorial on grid search. So I'm going to be using the make regression method from the scikit-learn, which is going to help us on creating a regression data set. I will say from scikit-learn.datasets import make regression and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to import numpy then I will set x and y like make regression number of samples let's create a data set with 1 data 1000 data points and number of features are going to be 20 which is going to be our x amount like the column amount you can think of data frame and noise I'm going to add the noise of 0.1 so when I call the x we are going to have the matrix like this and when I call the y we are going to have a vector like this and our data set is ready right now great and we are going to split the data into training and testing sets I will say I have a tutorial on this you can check that from my machine learning tutorials playlist where I have more than 30 machine learning tutorials like this one for understanding the logic behind the train test split and basically it is splitting our data into training and testing sets for evaluating the model performance like we are going to train the models on the training set and we are going to test the performance on the test set so I will say train test split x y and I'm going to set the test size like 0.2 so this is going to mean that at the x train side we are going to have 800 data points and the test size side we are going to have 200 data points like this also it's it is same for y train and it's same for x test so our test size is 0.2 and our test set has 200 features great so now i'm going to move with model selection i will create a ridge regression model in the tutorial so i will say from scikit-learn.linear model import ridge and i'm going to initialize it like model is going to be ridge and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to define a set of parameters each machine learning model has different parameter set like if you have x and y parameters on the algorithm one you are going to have something like z and e parameters on the algorithm too so one set is not going to be fitting all of them so for every model you need to know the parameters that you can apply you can check the internet quickly you don't need to keep that in mind but it's going to be 100 percent helpful for the interview so you can also just check the models that are generally used like you can know the parameters of the three based models and support vector models k nearest neighbor model parameters like you can just study on the most popular ones 
most used ones and now I'm going to define parameter grid and I will say alpha this is going to be our regularization strength and I will say 0 0.1 1.0 10 and 100 like this and I'm going to add solver and it can be auto SVD LSQR and let's set it like this so in here alpha controls the regularization strength higher values mean more regularization and solver in here is the algorithm to solve the optimization problem so let's perform the grid search again grid search systematically with tries every combination like it tries 0.1 with auto it tries 0.1 with svd it tries 0.1 with lsqr and then it goes with these combinations these combinations and it finishes on the 100 with lsqr so we will say from scikit-learn model selection import grid search cross validation by the way, after trying every combination, it returns the best performing one. So we are going to set up the grid search, like grid search is going to be grid search cross validation. Estimator is going to be model that we initialized in here. And we are going to give a parameter grid is going to be parameter grid. We defined in here, this is our possible parameters list. And I'm going to set the cross validation as 5. And I heard a story on cross validation too, you can check that. And I will say scoring is going to be negative mean squared error. And I'm going to set up my grid search like this. So cross validation of 5 means uses 5 fold cross validation. It can be think like it separates the data into 5 parts and then train the model with the 4 parts and test it with a one part and on the scoring side we have the negative mean squared error and lower mean squared error indicates better performance and grid search cross validation minimizes the metric by default and now we are going to perform the grid search by training the models we will use the fit method from this and we will give x train with y train and now we are going to have grid search running and here it is it's ready so let's see the results after the grid search is complete we can check the best hyperparameters found and use this to evaluate the model on the test set like let's say best parameters are going to be grid search dot best parameters and this returns the best parameters on here the alpha of 0.1 is selected and solver as selected as svd by the way since you saw the lowest value picked you can lower this value and just create a new list like 0.01 and work like this it's completely up to you maybe this is the not the best value you can extend this list if you want to get a better performance and we are going to save the model with the best estimator like which has this i'm going to say best model which is going to have the parameters saved alpha 0.1 and solver svd it's going to be grid search dot best estimator now i'm going to import scikit-learn dot matrix mean squared error i'm going to import this from scikit-learn matrix and i'm going to take predictions on the model using best model predict x test and my predictions are going to look like this a vector in this way and i'm going to compare it with the actual y values mean squared error y test and y predictions and let's see our mean squared error here is our result by the way this value is good or bad definition completely depends on your problem and i'm not going to talk a lot on that side and this is how we can use grid search for finding the optimal parameters on algorithms so let's summarize what we did I firstly started by importing the make regression from scikit-learn for dataset creation. We created a dataset with 20 features and 1000 samples. Then we used train test split and I showed you the shapes and we picked ridge regression. I wanted to use this for this tutorial. We initialized it. Then we defined the grid 
like the possible parameters and we have alpha regularization strength and solver the optimization type and we imported grid search cross validation we saved it like we set up the grid search with cross validation of five which means five folds and scoring of negative mean squared error and then we fit our grid search on training and this means that you are going to train your model five times according to the cross validation of five five folds then we set the best parameters and we find the alpha as 0.1 as the best performing one and you can extend this list in this way like i showed you how we can extend this list for a possible better performance and the solar side we have svd then we save the best estimator the best model with these parameters on best model then we make predictions with our picked model and we checked its performance using mean squared error like this let's get to the outro thanks for watching this machine learning tutorial i have a playlist for machine learning videos well, I have more than 40 videos on there. You can check that playlist for more videos like this. I'm sharing new data science videos on my channel every week. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Have a great day.